This is definitely, this has definitely been a long time coming. We've been working on this for the, the six and a half years that I've been mayor. A big move tonight that will change the landscape in downtown Lansing. City Council has approved a plan to sell City Hall. A developer has agreed to buy the 66 year old building for nearly $2.8 million and turn it into a hotel. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. The sale allows the city to build a brand new City Hall just two blocks away. News 10's Jordan Burrell was at tonight's meeting. She joins us live in the newsroom to tell us what happens next. Hi, and now construction can begin on the city owned parking lot that will be City Hall's new home. Although Mayor Shore says the final plans for construction have yet to be finalized, the plan is to be moving out of Lansing City Hall within the next year or two. It's time. This is the next step, right? Um, we finally did sell it. A chapter closing on a decade long book. Lansing City Hall has officially been sold to Byler Real Estate Services for about $2.8 million. Do you know what 6.2 is? That's the number of days of city operating budget that is covered by $2.78 million. So you're telling the taxpayers that for less than a week of operating expenses, you're going to sell their building. Loretta Stanaway doesn't agree with the price tag put on the nearly 70 year old building, saying in a past meeting that where City Hall sits now is the best piece of property in the city, maybe even the state. So we are going to sell the building for exactly what it's worth, uh, no less, no more, and it's going to be taken over. You know, millions of dollars are going to be put in to rehabilitate this building, to have asbestos removed, to, um, to fix many of the problems that we have. We spend about a million dollars a year just on, on, re, on fixing the problems in this building. And with a cost of 70 to $80 million to get the building back in shape, Mayor Shore says he's happy with the idea to sell and turn it into a hotel by Paul Beitler. Although Beitler wasn't at Monday night's meeting, he said this previously on the redevelopment. The physical dimensions of this building favor a hotel because you have a very narrow corridor and it really today doesn't work as an office building. And for council member Cost, it took some convincing to support the sale, but now he says he can see bright possibilities downtown by getting rid of a surface parking lot, revitalizing the Masonic Temple, and now the redevelopment of City Hall into a hotel. These projects are painting a picture of what the future of Lansing looks like. And I don't know anywhere else where you're gonna be able to sit in a rooftop bar and grill that's made out of glass up there and look at this beautiful building. The city will receive $40 million from the state to build the brand new building. As for the hotel, Beitler won't be receiving any type of tax abatements or incentives for the project and the construction timeline is dependent on the new city hall, but is aiming to be completed in 2027. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jordan Burrell, News 10. Thank you, Jordan. Skies clearing out as we head into the overnight hours. Here's a live look from our sky cam over downtown Jackson. Andy Provenzano's in our weather center to tell us how cold it will get while we sleep tonight. Hi, Andy. Hi, Ann. Now, everything's going to go to the low 60s, so you probably could have the windows open, but the humidity is a little higher. Going to go a little fog out of it, too. What's left of the rain?